This is Bill with Jersey Trails, uh, heading out into the Franklin Parker Preserve, starting out here in Chatsworth, parked at the northern end, right across from Chatsworth Lake, um, right across from the lake itself, and behind me you can see the beginning of the Red Trail. We're going to start out there, we're going to do a lot of switching from trail to trail. Uh, basically I'm going to do a loop around the outer perimeter of the trail system and hopefully see as much goodness as we can. Um, there's supposed to be an eagle's nest way down at the southern end. I'm hoping to see some eagles today. Only about a quarter to a half mile in right now. Uh, so far the trail is very, very well labeled. Nice and wide. Lots of pine needles to soften your step. No sugar sand. And we're along a little waterway. Uh, normally you can see a, a dugout trench like this filled with water. It's what used to be used to fill the cranberry bogs for, at harvest time. I'm um, going to follow along, see what other pretty views there are. Now, I can't say that I've ever seen a fungus growing out of a tree like this. Usually they look more like shelves. I don't know if it's just that we've had such a wet season this year or what. But pretty cool looking. Here's that we found the first cranberry bog. Nice open area like this. Most likely what it was, just a bit overgrown. Back this way, is where we saw the canal leading earlier. Right up to that end. Uh, trail ran right alongside it. Can't tell you how much I appreciate a well-marked trail. It's fantastic. We've got these nice red markers within view of each other, which is fantastic. Uh, trail has been nice and wide and clear. Nice and soft. And we even have a nice little wooden footbridge to get across here. Absolutely gorgeous so far. Alright, at this point the red trail crosses the old tracks of the Central Jersey Railroad. Somewhere near here. There was a train derailment back in 1939. Um, I had hoped to locate what was left of it, but as you can see, we've got a lot of old railroad ties over here. So those are from the repairs, from the derailment. So I'm going to guess it's not too, too far from where we stand right now. Um, I'll come back on another day to investigate that. Maybe when we have some company who wants to do a, a shorter hike and not do 11 miles all the way around. There was a train derailment in 1939. They fixed everything back up. But unfortunately, the railroad stopped running the Blue Comet train in 1941. We made it two years after the derailment. And, uh, that was due to the Great Depression. We weren't into World War II just yet at that point. Pine Barrens history. Alright, the Red Trail just led us out into a big old cranberry bog. Off in the far distance you can see one of the sheds that was probably used for equipment and it is a very very boggy area um, there's actually an alternate trail that I just passed up I guess to keep your feet dry on the really wet days but when you get out into this section you've got all these beautiful wildflowers and some of this stuff you can't find out find anywhere else in the world so, how brave the sun, maybe a little damp, we'll take this in. The trail's a lot more overgrown in this section since it gets direct sun. The alternate, probably a bit drier, a bit clearer, but like I said, I love the flowers, the butterflies, the sounds of the birds. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful day. Probably low 70s right now, late August. Very, very strange summer, but I have really been enjoying it. It's been 
great to get out without having every day 90 and above. Fantastic. Red trail joins up with the green. Still right at the edge. This old cranberry bog. You can see the shack off in the distance again. A nice little wooden bridge across one of the feeder canals. Lots of water lilies. Very, very beautiful today. What a great day. Alright, so still on the red trail while it's connecting with the green. Stand still here. You can see observation deck over over my shoulder behind me. And green trail is mostly dirt road, you know, old service road for cranberry bogs. Gorgeous views of the, the bogs and the marshes. Absolutely beautiful. Fortunately, it is completely exposed to the sun, except for little patches, <sighs> right here. Oh, that feels good. It might not be too hot out, but direct sun is always a little bit rough. So I'm going to keep following this, and I'm going to stay on the red, I'll wait until it crosses and it joins the green again, then I'll be taking the white trail. I think it's the white trail that's going to take me down towards the area where we might be able to see a bald eagle. I'm hoping. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But even if I don't, I'm going to be mighty happy because it's just an absolutely gorgeous day today. And Franklin Park Preserve is one of the most beautiful places in the pines. There's just no question. I had never even heard of it until I was hiking, doing a through hike at the Batona Trail. And the section that cuts through Franklin Park Preserve was absolutely my favorite. It blew away all the rest. I mean, just the variety of environments that you cross. It, it's, you know, for example, in Brendan Byrne or in Wharton or even in Bass River, you're mostly just in pines. You don't really get too much of an open view. It's pretty. You see pretty plants. You see pretty animals. You know, we get lots of birds and all that sort of thing, and it is, it, it's a great example of the Pine Barrens environment, but Franklin Parker, wow, what a gorgeous, gorgeous area. I can't wait to come back again, and I haven't even finished this hike yet. All right, at this point, we've crossed Green Trail once again. We're going to keep heading south until it joins again. We're going to follow the green down to the white. I wanted to take a minute to show you the highest point that I found so far on the red trail. Uh, the trail goes right up and over this little hill. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, made it a little bit uh, interesting, added a little variety. And then you can remark on how low the undergrowth is here. And as you can see by the trunks of the trees, there was a fire here not too, too long ago, maybe last year. No more than a year before that, based on the undergrowth. Not sure if it was a preventative fire, controlled fire, or if it was wildfire. But, pretty little spot. It's amazing how fast the forests regrow. So, the green trail headed south towards the white. It's basically just a dirt road been kind of boring and you come around a bend and you see something gorgeous like this uh, a little while ago I did hear the call of a raptor I wasn't able to see it so I couldn't determine if it was actually a bald eagle or some type of hawk so I'm looking forward to finding out all right clear indication that this was a cranberry bog you can tell, just looking around, nice flat. 
and sunken. But right up along the edge here, we got a whole ton of cranberries growing wild. All right, I just came from that direction on the green trail. Came past this little bog here. And there's our intersection with the white. White and green head over that way towards the east. I'm going to make white south. I'm going to do the big loop down that way and see if we see some eagles. I'm hoping. Hey, just came down the white trail, which is really just a causeway between two low-lying areas. Turtles over here on the left. On the right hand side, Bald Eagle Reservoir. Not seen anything yet. That's the usuals, but we're not even down to the southern end of it yet. So, looks like a good spot for an eagle. Looks like there's a breeding pair out here somewhere, still trying to locate the nest. We'll see. And even if not, what a pretty, pretty view. Yeah, that little crossing wasn't too, too bad. I don't think it even covered my soles. spot I saw a kingfisher and you can see little swallows flying around hitting the surface of the water. Oh what a pretty pretty view. Alright at the southern end bald eagle reservoir just off the white trail and it's another observation deck. This one's got a nice viewer. And it turns out it was put up by one of the bird watchers. Now, you can see the dead trees out in the middle of the reservoir. They look completely devoid of life. When you look at that viewer, you can see birds, little tiny birds, all over them. Now, when I saw them flitting across the surface of the reservoir earlier, I thought they were swallows because normally that's general swallow behavior. Well, they're not. But these dead trees are just loaded with life. And it is so awesome to see. What a great place to watch birds. What a great spot to be. I mean, just in general, it's just amazing. Looks like something scared those birds up off the dead trees. you know it, right after I stopped recording, I walked, I put my phone away, walked a few feet, boom, there goes the bald eagle above me. And he was pretty high up, but there was no question that that's what it was. Um, hoping he's going to fly back over this way. For the moment, those are the birds I was telling you about earlier, down on the dead trees. I'm going to try to zoom in with my uh, standard camera and see if I can get some better pictures. I'm hoping you can see them. That's one. they were nearly extinct and I get to see them. Alright, I am at the southern end of White Trail 
turning north again. Right behind me is the southern entrance and parking lot, the Franklin Park of Preserve. Done about five and a half, five and three quarter miles so far. Heading back north. Going to take this yellow trail north until I hit a blue connector trail. It's going to put me on the red trail and bring me back to the car again. Just had a snack. My stomach was rumbling pretty badly. I figure maybe that's half the reason the eagles didn't come around. I thought I might eat them if they came too close. So just waiting until I get into a nice little shady spot. I'll cook up some lunch. That will get me through the rest of the trail. Uh, I'm definitely going to come back here again. I'll probably start at the southern end and do the complete yellow trail because that looks like it could be pretty interesting too. But it's been a really amazing day so far. All right, came from that direction, heading north on the white and yellow trail. Went a bit forward, a bit further north. Seemed like I was going more west. I checked my compass. Yeah, that's true. Look at the next marker, and it's just white. How in the world did I miss the yellow trail? Well, let me give you a little perspective. Let's see how I missed the yellow trail. Alright, there's that marker. And here we are. Yeah. I didn't look through the grass to see a yellow marker over there. No sign, nothing. Coming from the south end, heading north. Nothing. Nothing. Fortunately, I turned around. I knew something was wrong. I was only seeing white markers. So I'm going to cut off on the yellow because this road hike is a little bit too much. I'm not into being fully exposed to the sun if I don't need to be. Ah, back into the woods. Heading north on the yellow trail. Heading through a burnt out section of pine forest. Now, you can tell this wasn't a controlled burn. Burn marks go all the way up to the top of the tree. Usually with a controlled burn, it's right down near the base. It's been a few years, probably two, maybe three years, based on how much undergrowth there is where I grazed. Just finished up lunch. Ooh, what is it about eating out on the trail that's always so satisfying? I'll tell you what, Nor Noodle Mix is rehydrated even on a warm day. Oh, it, it just tastes so good. Whoever thought of rehydrating those things, sticking them in a, 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 a bag and just letting it do its thing instead of messing up a, a pot and having to clean it. That guy was a genius, or a woman, whichever. All right, we are at the intersection of the yellow trail where I came from, the yellow trail that continues back and the blue connector trail, which is what I'm going to be taking next. That'll bring me back up to the red. I'll finish the red trail, and that'll bring me out to the parking lot. So we're about seven and a half miles in now, maybe four miles to go. That's about it. It's been a great, great trip. And ah, oh, do I feel good after eating. All right, after the blue trail, uh, hopped on the red trail for a few feet, then that joined up with the green trail, which is that dirt road again. Red trail just separated again. Look at this pretty little spot. Love the water lilies. All right, just a little ways up the red trail. Going through a very, very swampy area. Came upon this really, really nice bridge. Not bad at all. Should be getting pretty close to the end of the trail here and back to the parking lot. I gotta tell you, Franklin Park Preserve is just one of the most beautiful places in the pines. Um, nice clear trails, very well marked. The environment is just incredible. Um, you can combine quite a few trails and make many different size loops. If you don't want to go through the rougher woods, there's the green trail. That's out on dirt road. 
you get to see a lot of the old cranberry bogs and you get to see a lot of really beautiful things um, if you just want to do the white trail and go around bald eagle reservoir that's an option too there's a southern parking lot you can just go in there you don't really have to get yourself too dirty um, but I gotta tell you coming in from the north parking lot and along this red trail oh I will be doing this again it is just too damn pretty uh, nice and easy you know, there's some ups and downs there's some areas where you gotta hop over water but they have some really nice newer bridges too some logs across um, there was one little section when I was still on the red and green where it was combined a little while like back um, where I had to hop across stepping stones but you know what didn't even get my feet wet that was still pretty and it's just such such a beautiful day um, been through a lot of trails in a lot of areas of the pines but this is definitely one of my favorites highly recommend it if you ever get a chance definitely do it especially the red trail but even though that's my favorite because it's more of a traditional hiking type trail there's just so many amazing things to see take a look at a trail map for this area make up your own trail I combine different ones a lot of the places where the red trail is basically paralleling the green for example just on the other side of the trees there that's a green trail but as I've said before I'm not a big fan of dirt roads so I try to avoid them whenever possible I'd rather be under the trees getting a little bit of shade enjoying my day so I'll include some links in the description for this video I'll try to put in a link to the trail map for Franklin Parker and I'm also recording my uh, hike with alltrails.com app so I'll try to post a link for that too that way you can see exactly where I went if you want to recreate that that's up to you you can take what I did adjust it make it your own enjoy the trails take care